his will here on earth. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, so, so the Bible says that the minister ministered to the Lord. And as he ministered, the word of God came upon Elisha. And he, you know, okay, I didn't want to get into the story. I wanted to, to concentrate on that. Uh, but the story was about they were in the wilderness. They were in the wilderness. Is it a wilderness or a desert? Because uh, a wilderness it's, is a place that is not occupied by human beings. And it, it, it might not necessarily be a desert. But they were in a place that was difficult. There was no water there. And they were about to fall to the hands of the enemy. So when the word of God came, and I just told them, prepare ditches, dig them, labor, labor, <laughs> build, make ditches. And your ditches is not something that you do easy. It is something that takes labor. And sometimes your hands will face something. You will, you will experience some pain in, in your hands. They are digging, digging. And there is and the place is very dry. The word of God has come on that situation. Very dry place. And the Lord said, dig. <laughs> dig. So, you know, there is a time uh, Jesus said to Peter, take your net to the deep. And Peter was an experienced fisherman. He said, I know this thing does not normally happen. But at your word, I will do it. <laughs> So I want to declare to you, there are things that do not normally happen. But when you hear the word of God today, God will cause them to happen. I say there are things that do not normally happen. There are things that are outside the normal. But God is going to do them for you as you hear from above. Because when Elisha heard from above, he said things that are not normal. Dig the ditches. In this dry place, and, and hear what he said to them, you will not see weed, you will not see rain, but the water will come. Praise the name of the Lord. It will be outside the ordinary, outside the normal. You will not see the rain, you will not see the wind, but the water will come. Hallelujah. I prophesy to somebody here. You don't need to see any physical sign. Whatever God has promised for you, he's about to deliver. Whether you feel it or not, whether you see the signs or not, whether you see anything outside, God is about to do it because of his word. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's get, because it's prayer, let's get to Acts chapter 13. So I'm, I'm trying to show you that we can minister to the Lord and receive signals from above so that we may be able to execute the prayers of heaven here on earth. Are you understanding what I'm saying? We can minister to the Lord to receive signals from above that we may be able to execute the prayers of heaven here on earth. Praise the name of the Lord. And those prayers are very powerful. Let me show you something in Acts chapter 13. Acts chapter 13, the Bible says, and, and there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas, Simeon, that was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, and Maenen, which, which, which has been brought up with the Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. And as they ministered, to the Lord as they ministered to the Lord so so there is that prayer that is called a, a prayer of ministering to the Lord and that is what we need to concentrate very much because even for us to ca to capture the heart of God and the things that are in the heart of God we need to cultivate such kind of prayer prayer of ministering to the Lord praise the name of the Lord hallelujah I don't want to continue because don't want to enter into preaching. So, so I want us to do that kind of prayer. That kind of prayer. And uh, I want uh, all the ministers to come here. I want to lead you to such kind of prayer. Those people who pray instruments here. 
instrumentalists to come in the praise and worship. I want us to do that kind of prayer. Prayer, that prophetic kind of prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, so I can see the praise and worship there here. Yeah. And the ministers, just come. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ratapagadaya. Rise up with your feet in the name of Jesus. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Oh. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. You can project for us. Yolde is your name. Jesus. Just breathe your name upon me. Pray, just pray your name upon me. Pray, hey. just pray your name upon me. Pray, hey. your day will haze your name, Jesus. Oh. Just breathe your name upon me. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. Your day will hear. Your day will hear your name. Can take us to other verses of the song. Hey, your day was here. Your day was here. It's your name. voices and begin to tell the Lord breathe upon me breathe upon me send the bread of life in me the bread of life the spirit of the living God hallelujah breathe upon me breathe upon me breathe upon me tell the Holy Spirit breathe upon me breathe upon me breathe upon me Open your heart. Let the Spirit of God move in you. Oh, we are doing the prayer the prayer of ministering to the Lord that is the highest form of prayer the prayer of ministering to the Lord the highest form of prayer it is the prayer of ministering to the Lord Leke. Ibra 
Yaba. Breathe upon us. Breathe upon our spirit. Breathe upon our soul. Breathe upon our body. If the spirit of the Lord who raised Christ from the dead dwell in us, he shall quicken, he shall give life to our mortal bodies. Let the spirit breathe in us. Breathe in your body. Breathe in your soul. Breathe in your spirit. Let there be a breathing. 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 Oh, 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 Ikata bala la 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 ba, ikata bala 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 la la 
Banda la 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 ba se kala ba la 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 mayanda. Rika ta ba la la masaya. Rika ta ba la 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 ba sakayanda. Spirit of the Lord, feel this place. Feel this place. Feel this place. Feel this place. Spirit of the Living God. Oh, ra ba ra ba da 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 da. Ke ba la la ba se la ba gande. Rika ta ba ganda la la ba se. Rika la 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 ba ganda. Rika pa la ba gande. Katabala la masia la ba, ya randa baganda, ya randa baganda, ika para baganda, ika para masia, ika para ba, ila tapaganda, ila tapaganda la masia, ila tapaganda la masia, ila para manda la baganda la masia, ika tapaganda la masia, oh, ya lelebe, leke tapala la la masia. Rikata baganda la basia, rikata baganda la basia, rikata baganda la basia, rikata baganda la basia la baganda, rikata baganda la basia, rikata baganda la basia, rikata baganda la basia, rikata baganda la basia. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Give you praise and give you glory. What are you, Lord? Shanda la ba 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 la ba. Rekata ba la basia. Rekata baganda la basia, rakata baganda la basia, rakata baganda la basia, rakata baganda la basia, rakata bayande, rebo yera yada bayada bayanda, rekata baganda la basia, rekata baganda la basia, rekata baganda la ba, rakata baganda la ba, rakata baganda la ba, rakata baganda la ba, le bayanda la 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 basia la ba, rakata baganda la ba. Rakata baganda la ba, iba la ba 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 la ba. La 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 ba, la 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 la. Iye le manda la la ba, siya la la ba, iye le manda la la ba siya. Iba la kaya la ba kaya la ba siya. Bala ta paga ya, bara pata pala, bara pata pala, bara pata pala. Kantu zaka tapa, liko tapa na mayanda. Ile paka taba, ile para ganda, ile paka yanda, ile kata para, ile zaka taya, ile parianda la ba, ile kura ba siya. Rika tapa randa, rika tapa ganda, rika tapa ganda. Ila da ba la ba la ba la ba la ba. Ila da ba la ba la ba la ba. Ila da ba la ba la ba. Ila ba da da ba yanda. Ila da ba la 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 ba yanda. Ila da ba la la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba. Ila ba da 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 da. Ila ba da 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 da. Ila ba da 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 da. La ba 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 ba. Ila ba. Ila ba da 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 da. Ila ba la 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 ba. Ila la la ba. Ila ba la la ba. Ila ba la la ba. Ganda. Ila ba ganda. Ila ba kaya. 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 Ila ba rika tapa. Ila ba kaya. Ila ba kaya. Rika tapa. Rika tapa ganda. 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 Rika para zaka tapa randa. La la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba yanda. La da la ba yanda la ba haya. Likata ba ganda gaya. Ibra kata ba ganda yasa. Ibro kosa kata para. Dara ba kata para masia la ba ganda. Indara ba kaya la ba sia la ba ganda la do. Eka para ba ganda ba haka ta para ba haka ta para. Ibra de da 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 da. Saradia bahandri ibriada, eka para manda bakata para dayaka. Sarata pakalan ta polina da bahalata. Mirati para di bakusa kata para dayata para, dayata para enta poko sende halan ti para dia. Harapatu zari enti para, le suri apakati ya salita pariana. Le zuna na 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 zila tu tapa, me paria katu zaria, ento raba kata pora zila tapa randa, enti aranda ba, la donde pradigadia, ketu si emprania, me palania ba hakrinai, 
Losaria paria sia, risaria paria saria tapala, kura panama de, kura panama de la kasi panama, ibra kato saria parama kato, parama kura sakata para, ilapo saria pa, paria suta yata, paria suta yata, paria suta rihamande, alamande sara mandera. Alla mandela va sarabanda la va alla mandela messi alla bahaya le fracatu sacati parada e casa pala macayata pala dayana le proco sata pagayata le ste pacata bagane le ste casa pala nada e le pala vasti e troppo cosa le troppo riata paia paria si aria poco stitata Saria parita pa kunresera, ikri paro saria pandaya se, ele priolo monta mentu saria katapa, mentu rapia radaya, lidi prado saria tapandi, liku sakia paranda, ela tua sira tua sela tua, ele paria se katapa, liku rapia tapande, le pala la 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 ya, le pala la 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 ya, e prakata parande. Ikaya la banda, ikaya la banda, ikaya la banda, ikaya la banda. La 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 la. Landa la bala la bala bala la la. Alanda bala handa. Landa la bala 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 bala. Arabada bala da bala bala bala. Arabada bala da da bala bala. Alabada da da bala bala la la. Arabada da da bala bala la la. Alabada da bala bala la la. Hikata pana bande, hikara ba 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 ba, hikara ba na ba na ba na na na, hila ba na na ba dia ba na na, hila ba dia ba na na ba na na, hila ba dia na ba na 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 na, hila ba dia na ba na 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 na, hikapa na ba na ya, hikata pa na ya na, hikata pa na ba ya na, hikata pa na ba ya na, hikata pa na ba ya na. Eke rapa, eka la pata, eka la pata, eka la pata ma, eka la palama, eka la panda, eka ta palama, eka ta palama, eka ta paya, eka ta palama, eka ta palama, eka ta palama, eka ta palianda, ira ta para, ira ta pala, ira ta pala, ira ta panda, ira ka ta paya, ira ka ta panda, ira seria, ira parianda, ira ku ta paya, kura pata ta ta, ira ta pa. Paria ta panda, liku saka ta panda la la la. Ira paria ka ta pura ba, ira kura para ta paraka, kura pata pala bana, lika para panda paya, lika ta para banda ya, lika ta para banda ya, ira pata ya banda ya, ira pata nda baya ka, laka para banda bara banda bara banda bara banda bara, ira banda bara 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 bara. Yeah. Rapa-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba-ra-ba
Mali Pali Alabafia, Mari Kata Faranda, Mari Paulina Bai, Pakata Paramakayata Paramanda. Yes, Lord, we bless your name. 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 We lift your name. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. We honor your name. Oh. We are about a bad about a bad about a banda la bala la bala la la maganda rakata pagada bakata paganda pakata ba what's the healing what's the healing bona pretty happy fighting when I know my belly suck that Na kusile tambele sak Na kusema wastahili Yere berere debo ya ndala na basi alalama Neba lala la basi alalama Wastahili 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 What's the healing? What's the healing? What's the healing?
mama bwana pingu na inchi tatangaza ya kwamba wewe ndiwe mtakati wewe ndiwe wastahili wewe ndiwe mwenye enzi wewe ndiwe mwenye mamuraka tunakutukuza tunakuenzi tunalia pudu jina lako takatifu yeah we give you praise we give you glory hallelujah those who are not together with us we are praying the kind of prayer that we call ministering to the Lord. And this is the prayer that is prayed from heaven to earth. Most of the prayer we pray from earth to heaven. But this kind of ministering prayer to the Lord, it is prayed from heaven. And this kind of prayer needs ministering to the Lord. And that's why you see Acts chapter 13, the Bible says, as they were ministering to the Lord. They were ministering to the Lord. They were not asking for their needs. They were not telling God their challenges. They were ministering to the Lord. I, the kind of prayer that we are calling ministering to the Lord is a prayer that is outside the scope of self. And that is the prayer that, I, that came upon Elisha when he called the minister to minister to the Lord. He ministered, then he picked signal from heaven because that is the kind of prayer that God wants us to pray. And that's why we were given the ability to speak in tongues. Because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14 that that for he that speak in an unknown tongue, speak not unto men, but, but to God. For no man understand him, howbeit in his spirit he speak mystery. Or the other translations say, he speak divine secret. And there are other also in translation that put it in different ways. So when you are speaking in tongues, you pray, you speak divine mystery. And there is this uh, issue speaking in tongues I, I don't know there is the initial speaking in tongues that you are given when the Holy Spirit comes upon you that is a springboard for the tongues of supernatural this initial tongues and I, I'd like you to be looking at it there are times you speak in tongues but most of the people don't experience that they, they don't get to the next level because maybe they don't go to the next level. Praise the name of the Lord. But when as you speak in tongues, there is, there is a level of speaking in tongues you understand that you are not speaking with the ordinary tongues that you are given. The ordinary tongues, they are your aid to the supernatural tongue. Because the Bible says, they spoke and the Spirit led them. It's your aid. It is your help. And that's why sometimes in the Spirit when you pray, you feel now prayer now has come from your head to your stomach, to your belly. And, and sometimes you feel like you are giving birth. You feel prayer coming out of your belly. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'd like her to sing this song and then we get into praying in tongues. Praying in tongues for the next uh, few minutes that are remaining. Pray, praying in tongues until we believe God to enter in that, into that realm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Out of your belly. Out of, out of your belly, out of my belly. Shall flow rivers. Rivers of the living water. And I want us to release those rivers for the next five or seven minutes as we conclude. Oh, out of my belly shall flow
Let the river flow now. Para 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, let the rivers flow, let the rivers flow, the rivers of life. The rivers of life, the rivers of life, let them flow in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Shata Baganda Lava. Rakata Baganda. Rakata Baganda. Rakata Baganda. Rakata Baganda. Rata Parabanda. Rakata Baganda. Rata Baganda. Ria Paramamaba. Ria Kata Paramanda. Lata Parabanda. Rakata Paramanda. Rakata Paramanda. Ria Tapara Maganda. Rika Tapala. Rika Tapalaba. Rika Tapara. Rika Taparamanda. Ria Tapala Mandalaba. Rikata Paganda Bagande, Rikata Paganda Lalaba, Rakata Pagande, 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 Rata Palalabasia, Rakata Paganda, Rakata Paganda, Lata Palalabasia, Via Rata Paradaya Bahaka, Sari Prayada, Ifle Paria Susaya, Riste Pagande, Palusa Gada, Ibrika Tusa. Alabagadia Bagada Bayada, Ida Balala Bassaya, Ida Bagada Baganda Balala Bassiana Baganda, Etaya Bahala Tapa, Epara Bacata Palama, Epara Parama Cata Palama, Soto Pacia Parabaya, Seta Pacata Palama, Setura Parabacaya Tapala. E pala la 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 ba se kata pala ma E pala la ba kaya ta pala ma Ba kaya ta pala ma sa kaya ta pala ma E pra kata pala ma se kata pala E pala ya kata pala Pala kura pala banda Pala manda le le bosta Pala manda le le bosta Pa kata pala pali manda Pali kusta kata pala Pali ya sabara katu sala Paria sakata palalama, paria sakata palalama, paria sakata palalama, paria sakata palalama, paria sokoya lava, ikata palia sakata pala, ilata pala makayata, leka palia palama, rakata pala mayanda, ita palia la sea, le sakata pala mande, lia palia sakata pala, la 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 Villa bada da ba la ba da, villa bada da ba la ba da la ba, villa bada ba da ba la ba la ba, di ba la la ba sa ya la ba ya la, reka la ba la ba sa ya la ba gande, reka de ba la la ba sa ya, reka de ba la la ba sa ya la ba, rika la ba la la ba sa ya la ba, rika ta pa la ba ya ta pa ya, rika ta pa la ba ya ta pa la, hila ba la ba ya da ba ya da, hika ta pa la la ba sa ya, hila pa ka ta pa ya, hila pa ka ya nde, hila pa la la ba, hila pa la la ba. Hila pala la la ba, hila pala la la ba. Shaka paka la manda, shaka ta pala maganda, shaka ta pala maganda, shaka ta pala maganda, raka ta pala maganda, raka ta pala maganda, 
Rakata para Maganda, Rakata para Maganda, Rakata para Maganda, Rakata para Maganda, Rakata para Maganda, Rakata para Maganda, Yeta 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 para Maganda, in the name of Jesus. Ila bakaya sa pakata panama. Ila pakata panama ganda. Rikata panama ganda. Rikala na masya na ganda na ba. Rikata paganda. 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 Ila pala na masya. Pass for the fragrance, then it turned to I worship it much. Come on, push in the spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, push in the spirit. Ayabagata Zara Zakate Shazia Badaya. Jazuta pariye barara Zakate shia bazia bala Aya makate re siya bala le Aya bagato siya parara le Siya kate re siya parara la balo As the river flows, brings everything back to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, it begins to bring everything dead to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Kara Zepera Baye, Sharon Zarabia, Zagato Siabalo, Sia Katere Siabalo, Sira Masororo Siabalo. Ya kaselele payabalo Ya kasololo Se kakarele siyabalo Flows begins to bring every dead thing to life. It's a life giving river. Who oh, let it flow right here, right now? Let the river flow begins to bring everything dead to life. It's a life giving river. Who oh, let it flow right here, right now? Celebrate, hallelujah. I said, celebrate, lift your voice. Lift your voice. Hallelujah. Wow. What a joy to be here tonight, praying in the Holy Ghost. Uh, we appreciate you, Pastor Joseph, for leading us in the prayer and pushing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. The spirit of prayer and the hymns or singing goes together. Praise God. And we must combine the two anointings in pushing God's agenda. Glory to God. Amen. We but somebody tell them welcome to the prayer push. 
city Kesha. I want to ask those who are very far from the fire, come down beyond the Uzima Street in the mighty name of Jesus. We welcome those that are watching on Facebook, YouTube, and Elevate TV. Can you clap your hands? And I appreciate all those that are watching in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. We have ashes in the house. Please help us. We are so grateful. Tonight we're going to pray. We were told the other day, this is a form of fasting. Voluntary, uh, you know, fasting when you, for, you know, forsake sleep. You are actually making a sacrifice to God. Are we together? Tell your neighbor this sacrifice is going to push you to the next level. Hallelujah. We have engaged another gear this year. We're going to push every Friday until the year is over. Maka young generation, they receive the spirit of a watchman. I said watchman anointing. E spirit mutashika. Mutashika. Amen. When we were younger like you, we prayed in the forest and mountains and caves and behind closed doors for days and hours. And that grace, those prayers are helping us. Iyo tunakulia, iyo bonga point, tunakulia mbakaleo. When we were younger, praise God. There's a day, tell your neighbor, there's a day you'll be over 70 years. Aima neno hauta, hauta kuwa kikimbia kama avijana. Kwa hivyo kama uko kijana hapa, hakuna kulala hata kidogo. Tell your neighbors, keep your eyes awake. Baka tutashika kitu, amen. And to God be the glory. Hallelujah. And so, I just want to welcome and as we transition to another dimension of we are moving one stair after another stair. For you to come to this hall, there are a couple of stairs you come through. Huh? I don't know that, but has ever counted them from downstairs up to upstairs. This is only halfway. There are still more stairs. Glory to God. I remember when the first lady of the nation came here, they said she, she can't go to the office upstairs. There are many stairs. And that we understood. Amen. <coughs> so we had to get her in another place. Uh, in this same building. Glory to God. And so we are grateful. I want to uh, show you a scripture uh, so that we can go to the next stair. Amen. In the spirit, uh, this spirit of prayer is in the house. Now, Isaiah 62. Uh, let me first of all, before I go to Isaiah 62, go to 56, 7 in Jesus' name. Kusimama uh, Siyoshida especially kwa nyinyi vijana ni sawa wale wengine tunawakubalia nyinyi vijana simameni ana even the preacher is standing glory to god between now and sunday afternoon i have five services so and i'm going to do all of them standing can you imagine that so this grace app that i do have you can download it glory to god you don't go to google play or ios now this one you go to Jesus. The Bible says, did you get to verse 7? Let's all read out and loud. Even them I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a house of prayer right now. And it's a, a house for all nations. Now, this is also called my holy mountain. The mountain is holy. This place is holy. When we come here, we should be joyful in my house of prayer. So in this holy place, a couple of things are going to happen. One of them is that you're going to discover you're in the holy mountain. Then you're going to be joyful. Then you're going to bring your burnt offerings and sacrifices just in what we call Kesha. 
glory to God. That's the sacrifice we're going to bring. And then your prayers, our prayers, our songs, our standing at night instead of sleeping in the presence of God shall be accepted on this altar. Nimesema vitu zako za kuwa accepted na unanyamaza. I thought ungekubali kwamba oh my God, when I draw near to God, he will draw near to me. Praise God. For when we are here, for a great and effectual door is already opened. Amen. Though there are many adversaries on the streets, they can't stop you from doing what you must do here in Moi Avenue in the CBD of Nairobi where the powers of darkness have fallen flat. There's a prophet who told us recently he saw the powers of darkness around Moi Avenue defeated and gotten on the ground. Yeah. So this word uh, prayer here is tefila or tefila, which is intercession, and at the same time, it also stands for supplications. It also stands for a hymn. That's why I told you in the Old Testament prayer and singing go together. It's not only intercession and supplication; it's also a hymn. Praise God. So when you pray a prayer, that's what you are doing, Tepila. Then also there is a house of prayer. And it's a place where God also hears prayers. Glory to God. That's what's going to happen here. And the devil can do nothing about it. Did you hear what I say? We're also going to read the other main verse for tonight. E to Tapalidia. The same Isaiah 50, uh, 62. And verses... Uh, Verses 6, Isaiah 62, and verses 6. Let's read out and loud. I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They shall never hold their peace day or night. You who make mention of the Lord, do not keep silent. And give him no rest till he establishes Jerusalem, a praise in the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to read those two verses one more time, but where you find Jerusalem, you place Nairobi. I have set watchmen on your walls, O Nairobi. They shall never hold their peace day or night. You who make mention of the Lord, do not keep silent. And give him no rest till he establishes until he makes Nairobi a praise on the earth. Somebody say hallelujah. We are receiving a watchman grace. How many of you know watchmen are awake tonight? Physical watchmen in many gates right now and positions of taking charge of security they are awake glory to god they are not holding them i mean they are not holding their peace day and night hallelujah in other words they are not gonna be silent and we in the prayer we will remember to make mention of the lord day and night we will give god no rest until he establishes the city. It's not the tarmac on the road alone. You are the city. Amen. City is those who dwell in the city. You will establish you as a praise on the earth. Glory to God. Amen. And the rest of the verses are very prophetic that the Lord has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength. In verses 8, what does he say? Surely I will no longer give your grain as food for your enemies. And the sons of the foreigners shall not drink of your new wine for which you have labored. But those who have gathered it shall eat it. And praise the Lord. Those who have brought it together shall drink it in the holy courts. Go through, go through the gates. Prepare the way for the people. Build up, build up the highway. 
take out the stones lift up a banner for the people in other words set a standard of prayer tonight in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hand and ask for the watchman anointing tonight ask for it Unaombeaga kwa basement to maombi tudogo kule chini you need a vavense you need fervency and fire tarazo kata basura bada shikata ya bazoti ya madaya oya kata sharosi ya badaya sharosa rapati ya mazati ya bada Tuaitisha hizi nguvu za watchman katika jina la Yesu. Jakato saripa taya bada. Jayaka tashere barabaria. Makatoro shariba taya bada. Achilia nema. Ili tuwe alert in the spirit in the city. Haya baso shiara. Shaka teresi ya palala. Oya kasololo shiabala. Aya kase faya bado Aya kasherere si apada Aya kaselele faya bada Aya kaserelele shia pada Oya kasololo shia pada Osha ya baserera Aya gato shia pada ya Osha para se Tell the Lord I will not keep silent until you establish Nairobi establish Nairobi as a praise on the earth I will not be silent until you establish Nairobi establish Tabarari Omba Ombihili until he establishes yeah this ministry Shaparazerebaya Shato razia bada Shakato usari bada Zekete shazaria Lord until establish This city as a praise On the earth Shapada Hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's celebrate God Almighty. Let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. So how many of you understand that the house of prayer means that we're going to not only pray but also release sound Amen. in the spirit. Glory to God. Amen. Sound helps write writings in the spirit, in the atmosphere through songs uh, and through lifting uh, our voices and worshiping in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Uh, tonight we are blessed to have a worship leader in the city uh, and a woman of God that we have asked to come and also minister on this altar.
tonight in Jesus name Amen uh, Can you appreciate Sonia Glory to God <laughs> Hallelujah Now This daughter of Zion We met uh, many years ago I think when gathering of champions Was beginning That was amazing She was younger But now she got married uh, to a husband who is in the house. Glory to God. Kujapa. Just bring him there. Let's do it. Move. Bring him there. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Uh, these guys are from Kenya, East Africa. Atawa Mahali. Amen. And she ministers uh, from Kitengela, from Westlands. And of course, everywhere else that the Lord brings her to be ministering in Life Church Malindi and a great uh, family friends with uh, Pastor Danny Gift down there, but also here in the city. And uh, I prophesied to her several years ago. So you come and prophesy in Isha, Mabado Iko. Praise the Lord. She's an arsonist. Amen. A what? That's only language from the apostolic house. Don't try arson anywhere. You'll be jailed. Huh? But there's a time arson is not a crime. Glory to God. And so we 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 want to wait, wait, watchman. Tulikuwa kwa watchman wewe umeaka hapa kwa go through go through. Oh you want to go through the gate. Praise the name of Jesus. I have set watchmen on your walls. You know that that practice in Israel and many places today they stay at the gates but I was in Israel and I uh, we went on top of the wall the, the walls of Jerusalem you can walk on top is several feet wide you can walk on top and then there are places that are a little open for purpose of security you know part of the wall that still remains and you can look outside through some openings uh, to see whether enemies are coming and be able to make your, you know, uh, walk and, you know, be able to, you know, just be on the lookout. Glory to God. In the spirit, the Bible says in the New Testament, watch and pray. Amen. So watchmen are watching and they are also in touch in case they need to communicate or raise an alarm. They can do that. Glory to God. And so uh, we pray that all the things that accompany watchmen, spiritual watchmen, like discernment, uh, seeing in the spirit, uh, seeing visions, getting into trances, seeing in the realm of the spirit, those graces are coming upon you right now. Now, kuhak your spirit. Akuna demonic thing that can hack what God is doing right here. We release fire of the Holy Ghost on this ground. Shapa yabata. Sharakato razi yabada. Shara zarakata ya. Shapa yabato zara. Sharakato zari yabada. Shakato zari yabada. Shara basora badia. Shekata razi yabada. Somebody pray the Holy Ghost. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Para Sarabadosa. Sharazere Bariada. Aye Kasopa Yabada. We lift our voice in this city. Oh, Sapaya Bada. Sekarashi Bada. Hey, Sharazadara. Aya Parazara Bada. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! 
Sagapata Sagapata Sekete Shazaria Baga Sagate Sharia Baga La Paya Pasa Paya Baga Rekete Demando Kosokai
I really need you, Lord. Oh, oh. I'm desperate for you, Lord. I'm desperate for you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. There is no me without you, Lord. There's no me without you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. I can't make it without you, Jesus. Without you, oh, there's nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Lord. Yes, oh, yes. Salama Nali Let them sing Nami Salama 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 Mi 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 nali Salama sa Salama 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 Nali ita Nami Nami Nalita Nali Nami I need the oh I need the I want defense, my oh God, how I need as the deep hunted for the waters of my soul. Long I can't abashai. You alone are my heart. To worship. As the dear 
from death for the water so my my soul longs after thee you alone you are
Unless the Lord is in it, every other thing will sink. Oh, another ground. <laughs> On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Oh, another ground. Oh, I love the ground. Oh, I love the ground. I want to move, but I hear all other ground. Whatever it is, if it is not connected to God, all other ground is sinking sand. Oh, all other ground is sinking sand. My hope is built. On nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness, I dare not trust. But only live on Jesus. This is why on Christ the Son. Lead rock Oh Is Oh Love the ground Is 
One more time. On Christ solid. Oh, love the ground. Hold on, drums. Oh, oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to Thee. I need Thee, oh, I need Thee. Every hour I need Thee. I am my one defense. My of the story of the prostitute who fell at the feet of Jesus and gave Jesus her best perfume. The people around Jesus felt what a waste of money. This would have used for something else. But for her, she used it and decided, I'm going to break my best perfume for God. She used her hair. Hair is a woman's glory. She used her hair and wiped the feet of Jesus. Are we together up to that point? Today, I feel strongly in my heart. You break your alabaster box for God. And as you break, something around you will break in the name of Jesus. So if, if, even if I, I sing songs and you don't know the songs, just pray. All I am doing is I am helping you fan, just fan your worship. So just worship God. Leave me. I have nothing to give. I'm only coming to help you get to Jesus. Amen. So whichever way you have to go to God, get to him. If you will kneel down, kneel down, get to him. If you will crawl, crawl to him. If you will run, run to him. If you will fly, fly to him. If you will lay prostrate, get to him. Whichever way, we are getting to him. Amen. Amen. I want to just declare that there is nothing my God cannot do. Healing he can do. Everything my God can do. Amen. So we're just going to praise God with this one song. Just break loose. Sawa, let's break loose. We break loose. Are we good to go, band? So we start with our clap. Give God your clap. Make it loud as if it's raining. Yes! Creator of the universe What can't you do? What can't you do? What can't you do? What can't you do? Jesus Name above every Name above every other name Every other name What can't you change? What can't you change? What can't you change? Jesus Put your hand Put your hand Yeah. 
Yeah. 
You are able. You are able. You are You are able, Jesus. You are able. You are able. You are You're able, you're able, this sickness you're able to heal, this sickness you're able to heal, this sickness you're able to heal. master box this is where you pour out your best to him this is where you get get to the master whichever way just get to the master whichever way just get to the master tell him you're able you're able you're able who are you great mountain that you shouldn't lay low you're able Jesus you're able Jesus you're able Jesus There are mountains and there are thrones, but only Yeshua will reign forever. To His kingdom there'll be no end. Worship Him. There
Midnight is our trust of transition. Whoever takes this moment takes the day. We push the agenda of the kingdom here in the city at this time. Shagate Shazaria Bagada. Shera Kazaria Padora Siabada. We push the agenda of Jesus in the city at this time. Para Serebashia. The agenda of revival is now. The agenda of the harvest is now. The agenda of people coming to Jesus is now. The time of the supernatural is now. The time of the release of miracles, signs and wonders in this nation is now. Open heavens, open heavens. Open heavens. Shakara Serebada. Sepaparima Soroba. Open heavens, supernatural. Sekete Shazara. Bakata Zarebashia. Supernatural. Zarabade. The door of the supernatural. Legekete Shazara. Bakato Zarabade. Shara Zadapa Porosia. Sekete Sharaba. A generation moving the supernatural. That generation is being born now. That generation to move in the supernatural. That generation is being born now. Zagato, Zagato, Zagapo, Ragaze. We pray, let it be. We push, let it be. We pray, let it be. Sarazene Baya. We push, let it be. Zagate, Zara. Pour out your spirit. Lord, pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit, God. Pour out your spirit, God. Sekeke Sararara. Pour out your spirit. Shere Kato Sara. Yekaka Sololo. Se papaya balo, se ke ke sharabia la lela, eishi a para selela. Tell the Holy Ghost to use you. Everybody pray. Tell the Holy Ghost, use my life. And be a rock for the tibus. He's in this osiku. Indio na fasi ya kutumiwa na bwana zagate sarapa ta 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 de zagate sarapa ya la lela oya basere sheka kaselela zapaya basololo paya bara Shekeke Sarara Le Papa Serela Shera Katerere Siabarara Sheka Kasolo Rabara Sega Gagatia Rasela Oh Sara Pararara Zegatara sololo parabaro Zayama densia parosa Ika satara baselela 
Zaria para sololola. Ye papa se te te shere. Ya ta pa serere pa ya badara. Declarations. We are preparing for the coming of Ben Hin, a pastor that moves in the supernatural to release the spirit of the miraculous and the supernatural in the nation. That's what we are pushing in now. And I want you to get ready. That the Holy Spirit will locate you in this country, wherever you are. We have entered into a very special time in our nation. Not just because he's coming, but he's a carrier of a mantle. The older generation of the Kadri Kulman. The older generation that moved in the supernatural in the parts of America. This man is among those who carry that mantle. And he's coming to this nation after 23 years. 24 actually. Kato Jazataya. We have been involved with the committee that is organizing, which I'm part of. And we have done about 20 meetings with the pastors' fellowships across the city and surrounding uh, towns and cities in this nation telling the church and the particular pastors and leaders to get ready for an impartation. And we have done a lot of prayers and repentance because of how other previous international uh, prophets and men and women of God who came here were treated and that's a close case. And the Lord gave us a prophetic word yesterday. And we were able to meet all the top fathers in this nation. Our team and the top fathers had a meeting and the kind of grace that was released there was amazing. It is like the top government of the church in Kenya met and agreed. Oh, Pataya, Takata, Kataya, Bata. The kind of prayer and repentance was lifted. I heard in the Holy Ghost say, case closed. Pataya, Jazota. The cases against Kenya in the courts of heaven have been removed by the prayers and repentance that the pastors and leaders have been doing. Today we received, or oh yesterday, because now it's midnight, a couple of hours ago, we received another prophetic word. When we were in, in Kasarani, Njiru, meeting pastors from all the way here in Osop, all the way to uh, Kamulu, you know, the whole constituency. The presence of God was tangible. And the Lord said something very powerful that the outpouring of the Spirit, now that the case of Kenya has been handled in the court of heaven, the outpouring of the Spirit begins now. Get ready to be visited by the Holy Spirit in visions, in dreams, in anointings. In amazing ways, the heaven is open over Kenya right now. And as we were receiving those kind of words, this crusade that is coming on the 24th and 25th, how many of you are aware that Pastor Benny Hinn is coming to town? 24th and 25th, Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be an amazing meeting. Let me tell you, for the first time, the key media house is here. 
led by the top number one have said they are going to air that crusade life for free of course elevate tv is gonna be there airing the same crusade we are going to and many tv stations are going to be live glory to god your stadium will be full until there's an overflow we are expecting uh, hundreds of thousands of people and i'm sure you're gonna be there are you listening to me right now as we talk i've already watched in our group there are about four thousand choir that is meeting in cff right now the whole night the choir is practicing singing and preparing for the crusade oh my god tomorrow morning about two thousand ushers are meeting at the same time let me tell you the last time i saw this kind of operation was 1988 when Reynard Bonke came to Uhuru Park and took over as more the late saying the crusade should be aired on KBC at 4 o'clock every day for 9 days some of the people who got saved in 1988 one of them is one of the leading bishops in Machakos town today he got saved in that crusade in 88 and he's the leader of leaders in Machakos this time there is a move of the supernatural being restored in Kenya. Tangible miracles of Jesus will begin to happen everywhere. And I'm preparing myself. Zarakataya. We are not asking that, you know, we just be giving stories of miracles that happened a long time ago. You know, I remember today, one of the last times the dump spoke in my meeting was when we were doing the crusade in Kambukunji. I think it was before COVID, 2018 or 2019, February. You know, when a boy was dumped, he spoke. So that's almost five, six years ago. We want this kind of miracles happening every week. And God has said, he is using nameless, titleless people. A new crop of ministers. I wish you can dedicate yourself. I wish you can consecrate yourself. I wish you can say, Lord, I am ready. This is what I want you to do. I want you to begin right now to pray and say, Lord, because Kenya has entered into a new spiritual sphere, we pray that we will not be left behind as an individual, as a church, as a nation. And as Pastor Benny Hinn comes here, glory to God, whatever mantle is released for the supernatural, oh my God, you will be a partaker. Of what God is doing let's pray for that crusade and pray for yourself and be hungry for a mantle to come upon your life can you begin to become militant stand up for those who are seated this is time to get strength unless you go on your knees just karo sararia shazo rapiara ah shate razia bada all those who are online we activate you to this prayer kenya has entered a new season this country has entered a new dimension. We are hungry. The levels of hunger for the supernatural in this country have risen up higher. Segete Saraza, the move of God is going to affect many churches, many people. We arasa tarosada. No spirit of religion can stop this. No spirit of witchcraft can stop this. It's time for the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Shada zada zada. Seke keke shada ta. Para zara bada. Lord, Achilia, Achilia, Baba Achilia, Achilia Nema, Achilia Zababa, Segete. Achilia Zagatoraza Achilia Gugu Shapara Zara Achilia Ewana Zegete Shazara Achilia Zapaya Zegete Shaza Achilia Shapaya Gugu Zarot Negativo Achilia Let there be an authority It happened on Azusa Street 1906 Oh my God, let it happen again. You poured your spirit. 
Sharazadaba. You poured your spirit in the 57. Ira Sorota. You poured your spirit. Sege Taraza. In 57 in Kenya. You are pouring your spirit again. You poured in 1974. You are pouring again. I am Casolo. You poured your spirit in the Arahates. Pour it again. You poured your spirit in 88 in this nation. Pour it again. Pour again. Pour again. As the day of Pentecost. As on the day of Pentecost. As the day of Pentecost. Pour it again. As the day of Pentecost. Come and seek with a Pentecost. Waga, Mimina, Mimina. Waga, Mimina. Roa Cotena. Mimina Tena. Mimina Tena. Achilia Tena. Zakaporaza. Zegete Shaza. Parazarina. Yekakato. Mimina, Roa Comtegatibu. In this generation. Oh my God, do it again, 2024, do it again. Tuera sare paria parera, saraya, shepaya parosa. Zagare Sarabarora Somebody pray, oh Sharada, oh Shadara Sura, Shagatora Zia, Shiranataria, Zenamara Zia, Shagare Saraya, Shora Zagaria Bara. Solora Shera Bazara, we shall not hold our peace day or night. We who mention of the Lord, we shall not keep silent. Oh, my Jesus, we will give God no rest. Zakato Saraba, Shere Saribaya. Shara Zerebana, Zaga Tereshara, Shara Zerebasha, Loka Taraza, Tera Bazia, Shora Bazara, Loka Sarabora, Leka Taraza, O oh Jesus, pour out your spirit and fire in this place, in this place, in this place. Zakato, Zakate, Shapara, Zekete, Sharapura, Zakatera, Zakatosa, Pakatosa, Bagatesa, Zekataria, Barosara, Pura 
Mazi yaba Oh my God Release your servant Let it heal Let it saria Let there be power Let there be fire Let there be grace Let there be the supernatural We pray oh God Shakatesa Shoparabia Zukakata Shekekete Zakatira Okokosa Sherepaya Zura Barira Yokokosa Zekete Zukakatora Zipaya Balora Zikakatorosa Shuparasera Zupaya Patera Zikatorosa Zekatosa Riaba
God. This is a move. This is a move. Oh, God, I am. This is a move. Oh, this is a move. This is a move. This is a move. This is a move, God.
Katorosia Balala. Miracle signs and wonders. Is the moon. This is the move of God. Father, we give you praise because this is a move. We're in the middle of the move. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Shakata bazoko toko bataya batagata shata pabata. Lakato jazoti abadaya rashazota. find a moment and be seated briefly God bless the worship team for laboring all those hours let's appreciate clap your hands somebody let's appreciate our team and our sister Sonia and the team glory to God in the highest Let's read a scripture in Mark chapter 13. I'm grateful that you came here into the house of God for prayer and worship and giving a sacrifice of letting go of your sleep so that we can pray. Something is building in the spirit. Hallelujah. Is completely a sacrifice, but we have to do it. Uh, somebody encouraged me and sent me a message and said, I pray that you all have the grace because I see the couple of meetings you have over the weekend that the grace of God will be sufficient for you. And I said, yeah. Because this morning, I'll be preaching in Mwea. The county has gathered together to deal with their injustices in the past. The body of Christ there is gathering together because of also how they handled previous servant of God in the county. So they are meeting for restitution, correcting the errors and pushing an agenda of oneness and the Holy Spirit to move in a mighty way. So I'm joining a battery of men and women of God this morning. And then I come back at 2 o'clock to minister here at Kempiski in another network of women pastors. And that's wonderful. And we are here right now. And then, of course, on Sunday we're going to push the agenda here in the house. The Lord has given me a direction and a message and then on Monday we'll spend the day visiting five churches don't worry about me worry about yourself <clears throat> did you arrive in Mark 13 37 
The Bible says what? Everybody read. What shall I say to you? I say to all what? Watch. Yeah. Jesus is calling all of us to activate this powerful, wonderful principle called watching. From verse 32, this is what he had to say. Because no one knows the hour or the time or the coming of the Son of Man. But on that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the sons, I mean nor the son, but the father, only the father. Take heed, as 33, watch and pray, for you do not know when the time is. It is like a man going to a far country who left his house and gave authority to his servants to each his work and commanded the doorkeeper to watch. Watch therefore for you do not know when the master of the house is coming in the evening, at midnight, at the crowning of the rooster or in the morning. Lest coming suddenly he finds you doing what? Sleeping. Tell your neighbor that's your verse. Uh, you, you cannot be sleeping and I'm glad you're here. And what shall I say to you? I say to all watch we are called to be watchmen let's talk about the watchman anointing a few minutes uh, usually at night if you preach for, tong for long they will begin watching for you uh, they will begin watching for you <laughs> praise the lord and the spiritual application for watchmen in the Bible is two graces. One, the prophet. And number two, intercessor. Now, the anointing of the prophet is one of the anointings referred to as watchmen. And secondly, the anointing of intercession, the intercessor. Now, According to this Gospel Mark 13, all of us, all believers, are called to watch and therefore to be watchmen. So we have to watch. For somebody to watch, uh, two things are important. God to two things. Munandika ama munaniangalia tu. Hizi vitu mutapereka wapi na vile tumeti tafuta. Praise God. A watchman must guard his or her heart. Somebody say, guard our own hearts. And secondly, being our brother's keeper. So we guard our own heart, and then we watch for our brother, as it were, and be a brother's keeper. Because the watchman is there to watch on behalf of the people who are behind the, the walls. So being a brother's keeper, that's important. Glory to God. Now, a watchman is one who sees spiritually. Biblically, a watchman is one who does what? Sees spiritually. And we must receive that grace that we will be able to see in the spirit. Seeing in dreams is powerful. Seeing visions is powerful. Seeing it in the word of God is equally powerful. Now, you all know that when a child is born, we are endowed at birth with the ability to see physically. Every child is born without uh, grace to see or ability to see. Now, but that ability to see develops and as a child grows physically then that grace not grace but that endowment to see that was installed created by God at birth is there physically now spiritually we need spiritual sight and this requires an anointing 
to see. You need a spiritual endowment to see. We need an anointing to see. Somebody say, Lord, give me an anointing to see. So if we are to define a spiritual watchman, we would say the watchman anointing is an enablement to see the things of God or to see the things that God wants us to see in order to partner with him in his work. So, it is that divine enablement to see the things God wants us to see so that we can partner with him in his work. Glory to God. Because unless you see what God is doing, unless you see what God wants done, you can't partner with him. Glory to God. In 2020, I saw in the spirit, in the month of April, in the midst of Corona, I saw what was coming in the world. Uh, a global awakening. The whole night, the Lord was showing me things in the spirit. So, it enabled me to believe God that I'm going to participate and also see a global awakening and become a carrier of this grace and anointing and activator and so instead of just watching and waiting so what we did we crafted a new ministry called festival of hope five days gospel tent meeting and this year 2024 we are getting ready for April it is already uh, dates we have set in the fourth week of April where we're going to take a five days gospel campaign somewhere near thicker with Tavia sites and so forth and a group of pastors are ready and our team is ready we've already begun the mobilization so the other day when we did that in Gashie there was a move of God we confronted alcoholism and drug taking and later on the government went in after two weeks arrested some people who were involved in those kind of alcohol stuff and the government rolled out a move for central Kenya because it's a big crisis you can almost think it's political to manufacture these things and cause these people to drink, drink themselves to death is something that we can shift spiritually through the gospel. Jesus is still the answer. Hallelujah. Jesus is still the answer. Uh, I will not specifically tell you some of the things that happened in Juja, as it were, but we thank God that we are partakers of what he is doing in his work as spiritual watchmen. Praise the Lord. In the same way that a child receives ability to see at birth. Also the spiritual ability to see is given to us at our spiritual birth. Did you hear what I said? So, if you read John chapter 3, the Bible says, uh, verse 3, this is what Jesus told Nicodemus uh, that the part B of it that I say to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God. And so our spiritual sight is born of the spirit. When we are born down in verse 5 the Bible says in the in the part B, I say again to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So it's important to understand at salvation, what we call born from above. Huh? We must be born again. We must be saved, if you like, so that we can see, we can enter, and then we can function in the realm which God reigns, in which God operates. I, I pray that you see this quickly before I get out of this point. You, we are born again, then we receive ability to see. And then at birth, we also receive the ability to walk and enter into all the realms of God. 
Glory to God. All the things God has for you, your calling, your anointing, your ministry, praise God, your spiritual placement at birth, at salvation. You see, the challenge has been that when we got saved, uh, those days there wasn't discipleship in areas of, uh, in the, of the prophetic. And we weren't told that, hey, you can see in the spirit. We, we were just told, uh, give your heart to Jesus, be ready to go to heaven. Uh, well, we should have also been told, and I'm glad now we are telling you, that you also have spiritual sight. You should be able to see what's going on in heaven, what's going on in the spirit realm. You see, the other day I said we cannot uh, fight what is evil without having something that is genuine. If they are seeing witchcraft, sorcery, and they are able to see in this dark world, we should be able to see in the spirit. If you are able to hear from the devil, you should be able to hear from Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your hand, I declare to you in the name of Jesus, you will be able to see in the spirit realm. Glory to God in the highest. This is part of the anointing of the watchmen and as God calls us to watch. So, now, by virtue of our new birth, we can see in the dimensions of the spirit. We can see beyond the physical realm and be able to see the spiritual reality in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. And the realm where God reigns and where God operates, you know, that realm, demonic forces try to resist us so that we don't go and be able to see that. But God will help us by the anointing because the anointing breaks the yoke. Hallelujah. We can see God's purposes for people. We can see what God has planned and purpose for his people. We can also see Satan's plans and devices against the people. We are able to see. Of course, when we see what the devil is planning, we are able to stop him. If we see what God is planning to do, we are able to speak it forth in Jesus' mighty name. We were in a meeting and somebody was speaking and I was able to see what will happen to him 10 years from now. That's interesting. Glory to God in the highest. So, somebody declare the watchman anointing is coming upon me. So I say to all of you, like he said in that Mark 13, watch, watch. To watch is to keep vigil as a devotional exercise. Those who wanted to know what is Kesha, what is defined as a Kesha, how do you define Kesha? Because we have to talk to uh, Microsoft to add the word Kesha as an English word. When you type it on, or in a, uh, when you type it on word, they underline it with red. When I was, we were younger in 19 Zamani, with a friend of mine called Wanga, we used to minister together, you know, introduce him to the mission field, we went everywhere. And one of the greatest things we did was Kesha. I, I remember we were somewhere in the middle of a county somewhere and we were doing a Kesha in somebody's house. And there was an old man and I still remember he knelt down, we laid our little hands on a gray haired head and the man got filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other tongues. It was amazing in the Kesha. So this man later went to America, he got married to a, a, a white girl, an amazing uh, sister in the Lord. And then he got a firstborn baby girl. Guess what he called the daughter? Kesha. So he's Baba Kesha. So the other day in the US I met him and Kesha got married by a youth pastor in a church of 10,000 people. So we also said sorry, no, is a pastor's wife, Mama Kanisa Kesha. And I don't it's to keep vigil 
as a devotional exercise. Another definition you can say is simply to be awake during the night. Check for me whether your neighbor is awake and tell me whether they are in a kesha or they are asleep. Glory to God. <laughs> Now, in the root words of watchman, I found out this word watch, you can say a watchman or body of watchmen, these were formerly men who were assigned to patrol the streets of a town at night and announce the hours and act as police in the old archaic language for watching so when we come in the night like now to pray and do spiritual watch it's like we are strolling the streets we are assigned certain spiritual realms to walk in there and announce what hour it is announce the seasons in the spirit and act as policemen so we can arrest demons tonight and put them in without a bond we can't release them glory to God and lock them in and whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven and whatever we lose is loosed in heaven glory to God this is a watchman anointing. And I declare to you, you shall arrest some demons and some spirit. I say you are an arrest officer. You can't tell me you are bound, that you are in prison. No, get out of the prison, arrest the prison. Activate the watchman anointing. Activate the anointing of Christ who led captivity captive. Glory to God. So a watchman is a guard. A person who keeps watch is a guard. You see the anointings in the kaya. The engine is running. Let me take a deeper uh, before we pray. Listen. There are several uh, graces that handles the harvest. I don't know how many of you come from rice growing areas or you have seen on movies or you have seen when you traveled across Kenya down in Mohoroni uh, there's sugarcane uh, so that's sugarcane lily where do we have rice down that side Ahero and then Mwea right look the first anointing the first officer worker we need for harvest is called harvester. And the harvester uses a tool called sickle. It's a carved sharp knife that you can use your left hand. I used to do it because I had an auntie in Moya. So throw my hand on a bunch of several, you know, on a maybe half a meter. And then use the sickle to cut from down. And then I have a bottle and place it down. I was a harvester. That's an anointing for an evangelist. Throw in the sickle. Kaya. I know you like fishing. Uh, evangelists call it fishing. I pray that mutashika makahu tashika zira kubwa kubwa. Akitoa ofaring mocha kayaza shika ile kubwa kubwa ask your neighbor what is your size in the spirit glory to god so harvesters but then when you harvest you need a second man called gatherers those who gather all these bottles and place them on a threshing floor in a specific place and then number three you need now those gatherers are pastors they gather the people together 
Number three, you need threshers. All these words are found in the Bible. To thresh the wheat. Threshers, they use very major tools like, you know, uh, pieces of wood or whatever. If they are able to thresh to separate the, the stock, to separate from, you know, to get the grains. And they will pound on the rice or the wheat to be able to thresh and separate. These are teachers of the word that want to break down this thing until you can get the actual grain. It's an anointing. Then finally you have your rice or your wheat. It is ready. That's where you need guards. You need guards. Praise God. Now, by the way, before guards, I think there's another guy you need there. They are called winnowers. Winnowers. These are the ones now, you have the grain, but it's mixed up with husks. And you need somebody, I like the African mothers, your shoes, because you are young people. Your shoes used to use those, uh, I don't know, I don't have the English word for it. I forgot. I remember things in the, um, the late morning. This is very early morning. So, what do you call it? Tell. Is that so silly word or English word? Right. Catholic wanapenda yo kitu ya kunini. So, the mothers had ability, even beans, just to separate them and clean them up. And you throw, and then there is wind. You throw, there is wind. Huh? These winnowers. They would throw a fork into a huge bottle or whatever of grain and throw it up. Then the husks will be swept away. Now we know as our prophets, they breathe the wind of the Holy Ghost and the fresh weed of the Spirit. It separates. Glory to God. And then now the guards can come in and guard the harvest. These are watchmen. These are also prophets. And intercessors particularly. Lift your hand and say I receive the grace to God. Now watchmen in biblical times. Were caretakers and guardians. Caretakers and guardians. And by the way after it's guarded. You need apostles. Who are called distributors. You come and gather your grain and your rice and you can distribute it from one town to another finally to end up in your house. Praise God. So watchmen were caretakers and guardians. And they were assigned to protect crops from predators and from thieves. We declare tonight any thief that is still on the streets planning to steal our harvest that thief is going to be arrested tonight. Any spirit trying to steal, kill, and destroy the work of the ministry, the work of your business, the work of your hands, those thieves are going to be apprehended tonight by the reason of the anointing of the watchmen in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God in the highest. Now, watchmen were also assigned to watch and protect cities from military invasion. Protect cities from military invasions. Any major military operation against us. These are demonic uh, uh, spirits that are operating like highly trained, highly assigned demonic uh, guards. I mean demonic uh, uh, messengers. Now we have the watchman anointing to protect our city in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, watchmen need to be very active in two areas. One, in being vigilant, watching around the clock. Vigilant and be able to watch around the clock. And number two, watchmen need to be vocal. 
They need to warn of danger by shouting or scripturally blowing trumpets. So we be vigilant and also be vocal. Praise God. Now 1 Peter 5.8 talks about this matter. It says 1 Peter 5.8 Peter told the church be sober. Number two be vigilant because your adversary the devil walks about like a rolling lion seeking whom he may devour, devour, eat up. The devil is looking for the menu to see who he can eat up. But our names are not in the menu. We cannot be grouped with chicken and chips. This year 2024 you cannot be eaten by the devil. We wrap you by the blood of Jesus from the book of the menu of the devil. Because we are vigilant, we are alert in the spirit as watchmen. And then we are vocal. Glory to God. So this spiritual watchfulness in the spirit uh, is a very important thing. Now because I know you are a little tired, I don't want to take a lot of time on this so that we can pray. Is anybody getting any understanding? You see, anytime we expose a matter, we create a doorway in which you can enter. So now I'm creating for you the doorway for watchmen anointing and you can begin to grow. Some of you should grow to become prophets in this nation in the next 15 years. Hello? Glory to God. So anytime we teach and preach over something about a subject, the Holy Spirit opens a way. It's a door I'm opening. It's a great an effectual door that is opening before you the door of the watchman anointing to stand as an intercessor to stand as somebody who is so alert in the spirit to stand with such discernment and you will receive the courage and the boldness to be vocal vocalize your prayer and the message sound an alarm blow the trumpet in Zion this is anointing for watchmen Hallelujah. I know we demean these little jobs of being a watchman. Because you want a white collar job. But I like the uniforms of watchmen. They are very nice uniform. Dark. Very strong colors. Very good colors for TV. On TV don't come with a white suit. Ata in Mbaya. So, you need a deep, like watchman. Are we together? I heard watchmen should be paid a certain minimum amount of money. I think that's good. I like the way Kenya keep on. Kijali Masiraha. Masirai Amani Masiraha. Masirai Hustlers. Now, can I go deeper? Do you have grace for three minutes? Somebody shout, Amen, if you have grace for three minutes. Let me give you three Hebrew words for watchmen. And there are implications in spiritual watchfulness. The first word is shapar or sapar. T-S-A-P-H-A-H. T-S-A. T-S-A-P-H-A. Then H at the end. It means to lean forward. To peer into a distance so lean forward peer into a distance what does that mean having perception yani kama kuinama na kujaribu kuangalia huko kwa distance so may you have the spiritual ability to have perception ability if somebody comes around you you can see in the spirit who they are the Bible says in these last days we should not know people after the flesh but after the spirit. So you can know. There was a woman called the Shunammite woman. When Elijah and Gehaz kept crisscrossing and passing through there taking tea. One time the woman perceived that this is a holy man of God. And when she perceived, guess what? She took action. She decided, why can't we provide accommodation for this man? Instead of him coming and going, we can create a place for him to be staying. They built an upper room for him. Do you remember the Bible story? And then this Elisha 
and Gehazi, they would stay there often and of course be taken care of. One day, Elisha says, I, I don't see some two little feet walking around in this house. And Gehazi says, oh, she has no child. Hey, Elisha activated. He said, this woman has been ministering to us. This woman has been honoring us. This woman has opened door to us. This woman has been blessing us. Let's also activate what we got. Glory to God. Her perception, her perceiving that this was a holy man of God opened a great door for her to receive a miracle baby and the prophet prophesied. Say next year, a time like now. Kato Shazata, lift your hand and declare I need spiritual perception. Ability to see in the spirit. Ability to know who is this. Let me tell you, some of the people you need to discern and have an eye in the spirit to see are your own pastors. See in the spirit who they are, what they carry, because then it will impact your life and take you to another level in Jesus' name. Don't just get so used and take it casually. Praise the Lord. Now, the second Hebrew word is Shama, which is S H A M A R. Shama is to hedge about, is to hedge as with thorns. You know, in Africa, you can create a hedge with thorns so that goats and uh, other little animals and so forth, including people, can't enter in that compound because it is hedged with thorns. The word watchman has this implication is a defense. Somebody shout a defense. Watchman anointing provides a defense around the church and around families and around the body of Christ. I declare that this generation shall join the company that is providing a spiritual defense in the ministry and in our lives and in the body of Christ in Jesus mighty name. Somebody declare defense. Now the last word is Natsa or Nata Natsa I don't know which is the silent word N-A-T-S-A-R N-A-T-S-A-R which is a word conceal conceal as in besieging a city when you are besieging a city uh, you have to conceal which has a spiritual implication of advancing now we have come to the city and we can't just stay outside the walls wondering how we're gonna go in we have to get information and then we can advance glory to God we can find ways in which we advance hallelujah because Christian ministry has a lot to do with making advancement in Jesus name let me close this so that we can pray and give you two quick examples of uh, being a spiritual watchman in the Old Testament number one right from Genesis chapter 2 verse 15 God spoke to Adam and this is what he said the Lord God took man and put him in the garden of Eden to do what we in the garden to tend and to keep it now that word to keep is actually a word for him to take the responsibility is to keep the serpent out is to shama is to create a defense to watch over it so that the serpent does not come in now this is very very powerful of course we know adam didn't do it the serpent came in and talked to his wife so a cherubim an angel a mighty angel from god was given the responsibility to come and create a defense to shama the garden of eden to keep it and to keep the serpent out unfortunately even adam was kept out hey so god gives us spiritual leaders responsibility to keep to watch over families children church ministry god's people fellowship of god's people by the anointing to keep the serpent out if any one of you is being pursued by a serpent 
we are creating a defense around your life the serpent cannot get near you can you shout amen somebody keep your garden number two is Ezekiah Ezekiel Ezekiel not Ezekiel but Ezekiel he was called by God this is one of the prophets who was called by God to be a watchman he was anointed to be a seer before he was called to be a watchman glory to God he, he was an amazing man and he saw so many things uh, you can read about him uh, for instance chapter 3 of Ezekiel verse 16 he is called to be a spiritual watchman who warns the people of the dangers of sin and unrepentant hearts Ezekiel 3.16 says now it came to pass at, at the end of the seven days that the word of the Lord came to me and what does the word say son of man I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel therefore hear a word from my mouth and give them a warning from me this is an anointing and a calling that was given to Ezekiel you can also tap into this grace that you hear a word from God's mouth and then you shall warn you shall speak it you shall vocalize it praise God I've set you to be a watchman this is a grace for intercessors and prophetic praying and prophetic people thank you Holy Spirit of God chapter 8 of Ezekiel verse 12 chapter 8 verse 12 I close with this then he said to me son of man what read in what Saudi have you seen what the elders of the house of Israel do in the dark every man in the room of his idols for they say the Lord does not see us the Lord has forsaken the land so the prophet is given ability as a watchman to see what Israel is doing in the dark tell your neighbor you may not need KPLC you can see wakiamua kuzima stima tunashukuru KPC I'm not against Kenya Power lighting company their chairman is our friend so may the Lord bless them forever and to pay a stima how many of you can see stima in this house so tunashukuru but if the lights go off you should be able to see son of man have you seen what the, so God himself of course can see he knows but he gave in chapter 3 this man the anointing to see so in chapter 8 he's asking him can you see I pray that from this Kesha tonight listen to the anointing that is coming from this Kesha tonight there will be acceleration in your life of seeing visions and seeing what God is doing glory to God yani kuna watu hapa hawajawi hata kuota hawajawi kuona na kusikia chochote kutoka kwa Mungu mimi naomba kwa jina la Yesu kuanzia leo utaanza kuona na kusikia in the mighty name of Jesus kata bado shazatia sasa situanze kuombea hiyo saa hii simameni simameni na mikono yenu sorry na miguu yenu simameni na miguu yenu i don't know why we tell people to stand with their feet as if there's another way to stand waimba ji joni hapa Changamsha yule aliko karibu na mea jamba ajamuka ajasimama we are accelerating the grace to see Wai baji mko wapi Shaka tabazoto basati ya badaya 
shake it shazura bada may you be able to see what will happen in your life this year see in the future see in the spirit may you be able to see listen e just in case ngoja kidogo eh john 10 10 just in case you see bad things because excuse me you will see both good things and you are likely to see what the devil has planned wewe john 10 10 inasemaje the thief does not come except to do what to steal to, steal, to kill and to destroy so some of you are likely to see the thief you are likely to see demons what they are planning what they are planning to steal what they are trying to kill what they are trying to destroy so just in case you see don't panic the fact that god decides to show you something bad it means he has given you a responsibility and a grace and anointing to deal with it let me tell you even if you see at iflani ni kama ko kwa mochari hiyo ni kuonyesha ni kama kweli kuna spirit of death but kwa sababu mungu amekuonyesha you need to tell the devil you will not kill so and so you will not steal so and so you will not destroy so and so you need to pray because whatever you see you have ability from god to stop it how many of you have received that word of wisdom so i don't want you to panic oh i have seen things are very bad i don't know what to do and you are running to the man of god no just that you have seen is enough sign you have ability now because you are the one who has been given by the holy spirit sight you have ability to deal with it oh yes and i do that many times of course if you see something good you will rejoice you will be happy you will be smiling praying in tongues and enjoying yourself because you have seen you have a new job some of you mnaona umevalishwa nguo ya white na umefunikwa unajua ni harusi na che ukiona umefunikwa ya black unaambia shaitani you cannot stop my wedding i remove any evil covering i remove any dark covering never panic for what you see in the spirit did you hear what i say tell the people never panic what you see in the spirit don't panic over anything you have ability to deal with it zazagata we declare eyes see we declare ears hear we declare deafness kapota yata holy We activate the watchman anointing. We activate the watchman anointing. You will be your brother's keeper. You will be your sister's keeper. Dagata gata. Sekepe kashagata ya. Come on, pray. Shazara bataya. Segete shazaria. Parazata. I declare sight. 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 Eyes open. Spiritual eyes open. Spiritual eyes open. Ah. 
Yebatarasera Zagare Saria Barora Zagara Beserela Zapaya Barosa Watchmen anointed Watchmen anointed Watching over the city Watching over the church Watching of our families, yeah. watching of our children, yeah. watching of our families, yeah. watching of our wives and husbands. Yeah. Oh my God! Somebody receive a parent to see, a parent to hear. Shekete shazara, shekete shazara, bagapara zarabada, shepere razia. Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. My eyes can see. My ears can hear. Confess it. Speak it. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit. Come upon us. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Distribute the gifts. Distribute the gifts. Holy Spirit, distribute the gifts. Receive the gifts of the Spirit. Receive the Holy Ghost to see, to hear. Aya bagatere sharia bada is a prophetic anointing. Prophetic 101, Zabagata, to see, to hear. Zapaya Barosa, Zigegegeta Sata, Sharazereba, Yapura Zaribo, Shapara Zera. Ayabasororia Barara. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, come on, come on, praise Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May you be able to read news of heaven. Hallelujah. Read news of heaven. Glory to God. Now, before we push a little bit in prayer and worship, we want to take the moment right now and declare through our giving that God is our provider in 2024. This is time to give. In the Kesha, it's time to give. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go to where you have your resources, whether on phone, uh, whether in your wallet, so we can be able to minister to the Lord in giving right now in the presence of the Lord. There's fullness of joy and even life forevermore. You may be seated to organize your offering quickly. In the mighty name of Jesus. guys gonna find a song to sing uh, quickly uh, we, we're gonna give to the Lord in Jesus mighty name anytime you hear about giving you should always be ready to step into dimensions of faith because giving is a demonstration of our faith is a declaration of our dependence on God amen you are telling him I trust you you gave me this money it's part of my wealth, it's part of my work, it's part of my sweat, it's part of my skill and gift, but I give it to you. Glory to God. 
So if you have a tithe to pay, you know what to do. Get an envelope, package it. You're going to put it in there. If you have uh, a seed to sow because you are trusting God, there are various ways of giving. And every time we come to the house of God, as young people and older people, we must always remember there are various dynamic ways of giving and for different purposes. Glory to God. And walk and step in to enjoy. Because let me tell you, uh, the only way anyone can go to the next level financially is through releasing what you have. This is a principle we must teach. And because uh, most of you are younger, you haven't been saved for 50 years, you've only been saved for maybe two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten 10 years, you need to appreciate it. We can testify and tell you no one ever became richer by begging. So it's the opposite spirit of giving, generosity, then obedience, obedience, uh, paying your tithe. I know there's a huge, huge discussion on tithes and so forth, but it amazes me. It amazes me the kind of spiritual blindness. Jesus said, those who preach the gospel today must live by the gospel. And that scripture in 1 Corinthians 9, which is verse, I think, 15. The verses before 13 and 14 talks about just like they were being supported. Look at that verse. 1 Corinthians 9, verse 13 and 14. Do you not know that those who minister the holy things eat of the things of the temple? Now, what used to happen in the temple? Somebody say temple. Temple in Jerusalem. They brought their sacrifices. They brought their tithes. And so forth. There are ministers who minister in the temple. Levites and priests. And those who serve at the altar partake of the offerings of the altar. Now, when you hear language of altar, this is all Old Testament. Those who minister on the altar. Then the next verse says, Even so, the Lord has commanded. What is the meaning of the phrase, even so? So, it's, a, it's saying, as it was being done in the temple and on the altar, the same should be done in what we call the preaching of the gospel. Those who preach must leave. That means they should be supported with the same pattern that the Old Testament guys were being supported. Tithe offerings. Yeah. I, I ask this generation, because you love Jesus and you love God, by your love, just step into this grace. Amen? The New Testament church has an economic way in which it is supported and run her programs and finances, giving of finances in the New Testament is one of the ways that propels the gospel to the nations and supporting of ministers because in the New Testament the need is not just those who preach the gospel living by the gospel huh? it is not only them as families but what about the programs of the gospel you need equipment you need sound you need travels you need buildings you need all manner of stuff anyway I think when you are not because anyway nyinyi nyinyi munaamini mambo ya tithe so I think I was talking to people who are not here and that was a mistake. We were told you preach the people in the house, don't preach the people who are absent. Like you never know. Labda mungine nu happeni ne makohia. That group of hard nuts to crack. You believe tithing is Old Testament only. The Bible says even so. Praise the Lord. All right. So, yet we are also saints, we are also believers, we also need breakthroughs. Glory to God. May God cause you this year before it is over for you to give a million shillings offering. Because you will have excess money and you will not steal, you will work with your hands. God will give you tenders. God will give you business ideas. God will give you connections. Utatumi your laptop kufinya finya hizo battles. A rough dollar itafanya nini? 
itatokea pande ile nyingine I like Kenya Kenya you can't be bored it's very dynamic it's true i hear there's a lot of online work that can be done if you have a nice laptop huh you can transcribe books you know i used to design covers of books of some of my books using an app called fava so i go online and make an order i would check the different designers and i had a designer from india and a designer from ukraine and a designer from usa they designed my book even the the booklet New Believer booklet that logo was designed I think from Ukraine and I paid 15 or 20 dollars in 24 hours they sent me the design and me amwe sako basi wenu akombere sana Munasikia nime nimebonyesha bonyesha hiyo computer na nikafanya nini Nika preka pesa pande ile kwa yule mtu anabonyesha pande ile ana kibonyesha pande kuna mtu mwingine amebonyesha pande hii there's a lot of work you can design stuff and use online uh, you know technology and be able to make a lot of money when you are still seated here in Nairobi hello yeah there's a lot of work what i've just preached here you can transcribe it for me in such good english and i'll pay you and it will be a chapter in my next book na munani angalia tu hivi unasema hakuna kazi na hiyo ni opportunity ndio mawapea then you have a opportunity to pay your tithe and bring an offering in the presence of jesus so can i pray how many of you want to give tonight keep your hand up let me pray for you father god these are not jokes i sense the anointing kapadosho zati ya madaya i release the grace for generosity and giving that comes out of first god you providing ideas and not only ideas giving the ability skills for people to act on these ideas and lord giving them incomes at the next level then they have something to give i pray from this night in this gesture it's not just the watchman anointing and ability to see and hear one of the exercise we'll do is to hear what you want us to do financially and to see what we need to lay our hands on i pray in the name of jesus christ may this generation move in this dimension financially Father that let this offering we are giving tonight become a sign a beginning point that something special is going to happen in our time and day for our lives in Jesus name we pray even for those online that are going to send their offering uh through e money uh they are watching and listening in i pray god their lives will also be touched by the power of god thank you in Jesus name we pray amen let's celebrate god So I was testing so by clapping hands that means you have no money in your hands may god help us uh umepiga makofi that means you don't have offering or you don't have a phone anyway i'm just joking all right we have ashas pass the bags that's why it's important as we give our offerings tonight in the presence of god nafikiri mwingine mtaweka simu yenu hapa ndani kwa sababu sasa uh offering yenu iko hapo ndani ya simu praise god let's sing a song in the presence of God as we give I love you Lord for your mercy never fails me all my days I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake Until I lay my head Oh, I will see All the goodness of God I love your voice You have led me through the fire In the darkest night you 
but close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend I have lived in the goodness of God All my life you have been faithful goodness of God Oh my life Oh my life You have been faithful Oh my life Oh my life You have been so So good With every breath Celebrate our sister Hallelujah. and our team. Come here. Come, husband man. Come and say hello. We introduce this wonderful couple that are ministering the gospel. It's always a joy to serve. Amen. Amen. Mumeo, I appreciate. Yes. Uh, praise the Lord. Um, my name is Mike. Or Lepate, carry the name Lepate. Ole Lepate. Ole Lepate. Apostle, we are grateful. Thank you very much. Awesome. 
you are welcome so sonia what is happening in the worship praise singing world in kenya now where are we in the spirit god is using people that are, are titleless people who are hungry and are thirsty for god god is raising a sound not voices there is a specific voice that god is raising so there's a difference between a voice and a sound yes oh i should write that as a point so what is the difference um sound for example if a sound say right now i'm talking and the wind blows voice is carried by wind it becomes sound that's amazing so what will you tell these young people who are not singers and they don't think they are worshipers <laughs> because they think worship yes. is singing no worship is not singing worship is um i think the best example i can use is praise we can all praise praise is just talking from a place of what you see But worship is when you're in the inner chambers um so you have you have to take time and love to know god more like right now i can praise how you look i can say you look nice you're beautiful etc but then i can only worship from a place of knowledge and how you get to know god is by getting to spend more time with him it's by getting to read his word it's by getting to pray more because he gets to reveal himself as you do that otherwise all of us including the ones who are not born again we all praise god wow yeah so song of solomon 1:4 is therefore correct to a pastor is on duty today Draw me away We will run after you The king has done what Brought me Where Chambers We will be glad and rejoice in you We will remember your love more than wine Oh my life you have been faithful Stand up everybody Oh my life you have been so so good Every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God we are in the chamber say oh my god yeah. oh my life you have been faithful tell jesus oh my life yeah oh my life you have been so Every breath of it 
say this here. It is done. You said I believe. You said it is done. And you said I believe. You said. Whatever I say, whatever is the word of God hanging over your life, He said it. You need to believe it concerning your life, concerning your ministry, concerning your family. You need to believe it's done. You are healing, your provision, your calling. We is able to move mountains. Bato Shazata. We are ready for the miracles he's doing. Yes. Ah, Bato Shazia Bada. KKK Shazata Riabada. Sharokoto Siabadaya. Shakati Zeteria Bada. This is another window of opportunity for you to walk in into the supernatural because he said it I believe it and it is done step into it my sister my brother step into it oh For you to go in, go in. You are in that chamber. Pray now. Push. Pray for yourself. Pray for your stuff. Enter in. 